നിർദ്ദിഷ്ട സിൽവർ ലൈൻ പാതയുടെ പാതയുടെ അമ്പത്തഞ്ച് ശതമാനവും എംബാങ്ക്മെൻറ്റിലൂടെയാണ് പോകുന്നത് ഇത് പാരിസ്ഥിതികമായി എങ്ങനെ കേരളത്തെ ബാധിക്കുമെന്നാണ് അദ്ദേഹം ചോദിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ചോദ്യത്തിന് ഉത്തരം എസ് വിജയകുമാരൻ പറയുന്നു അലൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ഓൺ എംബാങ്ക്മെൻറ്റ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് അലൈൻമെൻറ്റ് ഓൺ എംബാങ്ക്മെൻറ്റ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലെസ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഇൻ വയഡക്ട് ഓർ അതർ ഫെസിലിറ്റീസ് ഈസ് എ ബേസിക്കലി എൻ എക്കണോമിക് ഡിസിഷൻ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഗോയിങ് ടു അഫക്റ്റ് ദി എൻവയറോൺമെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ എനി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് വേ ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഇൻഫോം ദി questionnaire and also the other people indian railways are running most of the railway lines on embankment embankment or cutting indian railways have not in kerala right from palakkad to thiruvananthapuram and kanyakumari trains are running for last 100 years 80 years without any flood issue railways all over the country have never caused any flood anywhere that is because the railway standards and the railways accepted principles are different from other services if you look at how the railway is planning their waterways planning their road crossings planning the flood limitation measures they are almost double of what is proposed in national highways in other sectors national highways never uh, take the amount of flood which railway considers you will never see a bridge uh, in uh, railways less in length than a national highway bridge you can look at any bridge across any river railway will be always one or two spans more that is because railways take a return period concept in their designs based on statistical studies railways assess the flood over a period of 50 years 100 years based on data based on data this study has been done by the research designs organization of indian railways along with central water commission at delhi uh, for uh, 30 years of research which culminated in big reports there are subzonal reports available all over the country now Kerala is covered by subzonal report 5A, 5B, 5C. 5A, 5B, 5C are very very dedicated reports which is meant for west coast, meant for the hilly terrains, sharp and fast floods occurring in the area. Those reports are very very clear and their fundamentals are very strong. Using those reports when the bridges are designed or waterways are designed, there is absolutely no chance for any flooding due to a railway embankment railway embankment is designed to guide all the flows into the waterways and the waterways are adequately provided the fundamental principle is that we cannot block a waterway to its higher than the original level if the water level in the river is reaching 10 meters of the msl the railway embankment cannot cause 11 meter of flood it has to be restricted to 10 meters with the fundamental principle i am very sure that there will not be any flood problem due to a railway embankment of course wherever paddy fields and such requirements are there we are already going for viaducts that will also help 